Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is an exciting day. We're going to be comparing a Vapor Rhino dry car wash to a pressure washer. You guys have asked, so here it is. Full time tested footage just ahead. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, today we're going to be comparing the Vapor Rhino dry car wash to a pressure washer system. Let's compare, let's look at the pros and cons, let's see how long it takes, and let's talk about it. And we're going to talk more about this in a few minutes. We're going to actually watch the footage live, seeing it done, the actual time in real time. We're going to see that in a few minutes. But I wanted to point out that you can take a runner and put underneath the, the truck right there for the, for the segment on the left, and you put a runner underneath it. We'll do a zoom on that in a second. And you can actually catch all that water. There's no reason to put any dirt or any water on your customer's driveway, especially your high-end customers. You don't want them to see that kind of mess. Also, this can be done in your garage, in your bay, without making a mess or splattering on other vehicles you may have nearby or just making a mess in general. Remember, that water that hits the floor is now on your shoes. Your shoes are going to have to go in the car. That transfers dirt and other materials into the car, including soaps. So the dry vapor steam cleaner or the dry vapor steam cleaner with injection mode is a fantastic option to keep it neat and clean. It also makes you look very good in your customer's driveway. There's no big wet mess when you leave. There's also no dirt and water runoff. So you put that runner under there, you can catch it, or you can use dry vapor steam mode on the steamer, and you can put no water on the floor in the first place. I mean, uh, the dry vapor mode takes a little bit longer to do, but it uh, is zero water runoff. Uh, the injection mode is definitely the fastest way to go. And uh, one last time, if you used a 230 volt vapor rhino, you're gonna get the job done a lot faster than working with the 120 volt. And that's simply because the steamer, the 230 volt, puts out a bigger head of steam. Um, another thing about the 230 volt version, by the way, it comes with a 26 foot hose as opposed to the standard 12 foot hose. There's a very big difference in, in utility there. Uh, all comes with a 50 piece accessory kit, uh, cleans the entire car, you can use it indoors and out, it cleans upholstery, there's no wet mess when you're done. Um, no large water supplies to tote around when you're doing your work. Uh, it cleans in homes, hospitals, hotels, you name it, you do it all. Um, with no wet mess and no fuss. And so there you go, there's the Vapor Rhino time test compared to the pressure washer as opposed to the steamer. And you can see the difference in water too. So let's actually get into the video and we're gonna watch the footage and see it unfold before your eyes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Today, we're going to be working with the Vapor Rhino dry car wash system. We're going to be working with the 120 volt Vapor Rhino 145 PSI system. We're going to be using primarily hot water injection mode, and we're going to be using a waterless car wash solution mixed with that. And we're going to be cleaning this entire side of the truck in real time. As you can see, a counter just popped up on your bottom left, and we have the control footage on your top right. And from time to time, the main footage is going to switch back and forth like you're seeing here so you can get close up. But that control footage is going to maintain for, for efficacy purposes. We're going to keep that up there. And we have the timer down on the bottom right, so we're at 22 seconds. So as you can see, we have the powerful 145 PSI Vapor Rhino va Vapor Steam Cleaning System running full out in hot water injection mode. And we're cleaning that rear quarter panel. You might have noticed earlier, too, when we rolled out that runner, how much dirt is actually on the side of the truck. You can see it in that front door there on the bottom. It's actually a pretty dirty truck. Um, so we're gonna be cleaning this whole system. We're gonna be setting up the timer as you see here. We're gonna be gauging this time, see how long it takes to do the dry car wash. And then we're gonna do a pressure washer afterwards and compare the two. And you're gonna find out that they're actually very close. And this is actually a surprise to me because I've always imagined working with a pressure washer would be much, much faster than it actually is. It's, it's, there's a lot to it. So when you're working with the pressure washer, you have to deal with a lot of things. Number one, you have to deal with the overspray. So let's say you clean the truck down and you start wiping it down 
and you start hitting them with a pressure washer in different sections, you have that water shoots everywhere. It shoots on people's windows, it shoots on other vehicles, shoots all over the driveway, and it certainly shoots on the other parts of the vehicle that you may have already cleaned. If you allow that water that's been sprayed and shot on the car with the pressure washer to dry, you end up with water spots, unlike with the Vapor Steam Cleaner. So that's the beautiful thing about the Vapor Rhino. As you're working, you're wiping it all down. The other part of it that's beautiful, you're essentially working with a, a form of distilled water. The water in the boiler chamber is being boiled. It is evaporating, separating from the minerals, those things that cause the water spots, and you're using that to apply to the car. So you need to put some of that water on there and you allow it to dry from the vapor, vapor rhino. Um, that water is going to dry clear. It's not going to have anything in it, no, no components or no elements in it, which is going to make water spots. So it's a, it's a really wonderful process. And the other beautiful thing about the Rhino is that you're going to be able to work inside the car as well as the outside of the car. So it's not just the car wash, uh, unlike the pressure washer. It is the upholstery. It's the vents. It's the headliners. It's the engine compartment. It's people's bathrooms. It's commercial kitchens. It's all of that. You can sanitize bedding, the whole nine yards. So the Vapor Rhino is an incredibly versatile machine, and it does a really wonderful job. So I found this rather interesting. The last car we washed, we used a waterless car wash solution, which we have in the tank right now. Um, the waterless car wash solution, we diluted by about 60%. Uh, we cut it down significantly. It's at least diluted by 50%. So it was half water, half waterless car wash solution. Um, and we had wonderful results. It worked fantastic. Not only did it work well, it saved money too. This time around, we thought we'd do one better and we used the waterless car wash solution straight, which is by the way, what the manufacturer in this particular case recommends. They recommend actually using it straight. It's a, literally a spray on. You take the bottle, you spray it on the surface and wipe the dirt off. By the way, I don't recommend that. I think that's a terrible way to wash a car. You end up scratching the vehicle. But anyway, we used the concentration 100% like they recommend. It was actually closer to like 90, 95%. There was a little water in there. And I found that it didn't clean as well. It, to me, it was like a little harder to wipe off, a little more streaking. Perhaps that was the uh, the finish that's supposed to be left behind. But I found that the waterless car wash that we were using with the Rhino worked better with a little less than 50% solution. So some of you are not familiar with what a waterless car wash solution is. And first of all, a waterless car wash solution is not waterless to begin with. Um, if you read the bottle or if you do some research into it, I think every waterless car wash spray-on solution is has water in it as its base but there's water in it there's micro lubricants and there's sometimes some other chemicals mixed in there and the idea of the micro lubricants is to help break up the dirt particles and suspend them in in the um in the fluid much like water does and see that's a beautiful thing about the vapor rhino you really don't need these solutions or the expensive solutions like the waterless car wash they're nice to have and they do help they're an assistant but they're not necessary because the superheated steam combined with the hot water injection also works as that micro lubricant. It breaks that dirt, it breaks the chemical bonds of the dirt from the vehicle, loosens them up and suspends them in water so that you can come back and wipe them off safely. The key to wiping them off safely is to continuously use clean, fresh rags. We recommend microfiber rags. So a waterless car wash solution is a help, but you can also put a small amount of car wash fluid into the water system, the injection system, and use that as well as your micro lubricant. Not necessary to go for that more expensive stuff, but I do like the waterless car wash solution so far as I'm experimenting with it and I'm getting used to it. It's a good product, but as good of a product as it is, it works better with the steamer. Okay, so spraying a liquid on a surface and then just taking a rag and wiping it is not as good as spraying something under pressure with, with heat and steam to break those chemical bonds, loosen their dirt up, and then encapsulate it with the chemical or the soap or just the water in the injection system if you're using plain hot water. And then you come back and wipe it off. So the Vapor Rhino breaks those chemical bonds, it loosens that dirt up and allows you to remove that dirt safely. The operator, it's critical that the operator does the, right, the job the right way. So you want to use, again, I said it once before, I'll say it again, clean, fresh microfiber claws. As you're using those claws, you rotate those claws, flip them and rotate them and use clean sides. And then you will do a beautiful job and leave the paint job perfect and clean and um, leave your customers happy. So take notice as you're watching this, the process is incredibly simple. The work is easy. I mean, you know, any auto detailing work or mobile car wash system, it's, it's a job that takes effort and physical exertion, but nonetheless, it's worth it. 
And the work itself, when you're working with a system like this, is pretty easy. It's an easy setup. It's easy to use. It's easy to deploy. It's easy to clean up and put away. And boy, does it make your company look professional. People drive by and they see you shooting that head of steam out on that car. And almost every time you see heads turn, they're just watching you and seeing you. And if you have your vehicle parked there and you have your logos up and they're seeing you using this steam process, making a big cloud of steam on that car, um, they're going to be interested. And they're going to take note of you. And you're going to look a lot different than the guy down the block spraying down a car with a classic pressure washer making that giant wet mess. So this is an opportunity to work with a vapor rider to distinguish yourself from the competition. And there are so many benefits to the steam. So what are some of the benefits? Okay, first of all and foremost, it's environmentally friendly. It's allergy and asthma safe. It's an all natural vapor steam cleaning process that sanitizes as you clean. Another benefit is when we have these droughts and drought restrictions in places like California, Arizona, or even New York and other places where, where there's just a drought going on and they say you can't wash your car, you can't use your hose, where you can come along with a gallon of water, you can clean a car, there's no runoff on the floor, in, on the ground, and, and most of the time that is 100% acceptable to the, the local EPA or the environmental agency or the town. So you can continue your business even during droughts in, in almost every case with the vapor steam cleaning process. You're using 90 to 240 times less water per hour. You say, what are you talking about? Yes. Well, look at the average uh, pressure washer, anywhere from 1.5 to 4 gallons of water a minute. And even at the 1.5, that's 90 gallons of water an hour. The vapor steam cleaner is using 1, 2, and if you really push it with the injection system, you might be using 3 or 4 gallons of water an hour. Compare that to the lowest flow pressure washers out there that I know of anyway. That's 90 gallons an hour versus to versus one, two, or three gallons an hour. So from 90 to 240 times less water per hour. You don't have to deal with water spots when you're working with the vapor steam cleaner. You don't have to worry about the sun drying water spots and making the car look terrible and doing double and triple work. You're gonna look great doing it. It looks sleek, moderate, and professional. It makes you stand out from the competition. I think most importantly of all is this can be done indoors and out in summertime and in wintertime in freezing weather. You can bring your machine out of the bay and you can do it out in the cold, or you can bring your car in the bay and you work clean and neat and professionally right inside your shop. And there's so many more benefits. And as we get into the pressure washer side of it, we'll explain more. But another one is you don't have to use chemicals. I mean, you can avoid using chemicals whenever possible, extending your health and in your life and, um, and, and just work in a very clean, healthy kind of way. And speaking of healthy, look at this beautiful truck. It looks spotless, and it is spotless. It looks absolutely beautiful. Clean microfibers, the 145 Vapor Rhino 120 volt vapor steam cleaning system with hot water injection mode. And by the way, this entire process would go much faster if you did use the 230 volt version of this, just because the steam power is so much, much more uh, consistent and uh, much more output. But no matter how you do it, it can be done. It can be done very, very well in a very short period of time. This is what it looks like to do a mobile dry car wash with a Vapor Rhino steam cleaning system. Both the Vapor Rhino 230 volt and 120 volt systems are incredibly portable. We have these beautiful locking wheels. They roll nicely on carpet, tile, hardwood floor, and concrete as you can see here. Uh, if you're working on a slope, just tap your feet. You can lock these wheels. They'll stay stationary. And there's a lot more we could talk about with the Vapor Rhino. It's just an incredibly well-built system from top to bottom, from the wheels to the handles to the electronics to the fan-cooled system, the whole nine yards. It's a great, great system. It's lightweight, roughly 60 pounds, easy to lift up and put in the back of your vehicle. Um, you can even leave it on the vehicle if you want to and work directly off of that. Either way, it's a beautiful mobile system, and it's a beautiful stationary system Vapor for your right shop. There. And we got a pressure washer here. We just did the other side of the truck with the Vapor Rhino 145 PSI auto detailing system. And then, as you saw in the previous footage, almost no water was left on the floor. And this is the leftover from about 15 minutes ago. It has evaporated already. So 15, 20 minutes tops, um, the water's completely gone, except I see a drop there or two. Good, clean, it's nice, Vapor Rhino, no runoff. And if you put a drop cloth on it, there'll be none. Now with the pressure washer system, it's not gonna be the case. We're working at 1.2 GPM. 1500 PSI, um, and that's actually a very low flow pressure washer. So we're just going to do this. We're going to clean it, and we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to wipe it down as I go, and uh, take a look at the footage. I absolutely love the Vapor Rhino system. It has is, is changed my life in so many different ways. I mean, how I clean my house, how I clean 
in business when I used to do tile and grout work. I mean, it just, it changed everything. Um, it's such a diverse machine. You can use it in, you know, the janitorial industry, in bathrooms, in kitchens. You can use it to clean sanded floor grout. And there's a lot of money to be made doing that. You can do maintenance and cleaning in hotels and restaurants. And, of course, the automotive detailing of motorcycles, golf carts, trucks, cars, aircraft, boats, campers, you name it. Whatever else your mind can think of, it can do. Uh, most likely, anyway, there might be some pretty extreme things that people want to do with them. But, you know, you can take them into machine shops. You can clean drill presses and, and air conditioning, condenser coils. And there's just a host of things in factories and processing plants and conveyor belts where foods packs up around the, the, the mechanisms and, and such. And, of course, um, that same food in the auto detailing business as well. I mean, you know, the stuff that falls on the floor, you have the, the little munchkins in the back, you know, eating their food, their they make nuggets and whatnot, and their ketchup and all this other stuff going everywhere stuck to the carpet. Vapor Rhino makes incredibly easy work of it. You can see right here, I'm trying to show is that there's a lot of overspray when you're working with a pressure washer. So let's say you just clean the other side of the truck, and you wanted to do the do this side of the truck, and you're using a pressure washer. Well, you know very well that some of that water is going to back on the paint on the other side. And this water is um, pretty much just tap water coming right out of the wall. So this water has a lot of minerals and other uh, chemicals in it fluoride and chlorine and of course uh, uh, lime and calcium and all that and so what happens is that sprays over there and on a sunny day which today is not a sunny day but on a sunny day that stuff lands on the paint and dries and creates lots of little water spots which ends up causing double work for you you got to come back and buff that stuff out or you have to have somebody running behind you and drying it real quick one or the other um, but there's no doubt that the vapor rhino gives you an incredibly professional clean um, look for your company I uh, yeah. eliminate this wet mess, which we've been talking about throughout this video, and it's super efficient. Um, allergy and asthma safe, environmentally friendly, low water use. I mean, you don't have to carry it on large water tanks or burden your customer with using their water supply pumping into their system. Um, it's just a simple, simple, simple ultra mobile or stationary cleaning system for your detail business. Keep in mind, some of the dangers of working with a pressure washer like this are damaging the pinstriping, the custom logos, decals, and even removing emblems from the side of the vehicle. So you have to be very careful with that. The Vapor Rhino completely avoids that. It's incredibly gentle and um, treats the car with respect. Here's an example of the overspray that you get with a pressure washer. Um, we haven't even touched that front quarter panel. We only did that, that passenger side door, and that was the spray from the door. So we're about to do the front quarter panel, and obviously that's going to travel even further and get a little worse. But uh, just to give you an idea, it's very hard to control the water with a pressure washer. It goes everywhere, literally on people's houses. You have a windy day, it's hitting their windows and, and all that. Uh, it's part of the game when working with a pressure washer, and everybody knows that and accepts that. But there is another way. It is a Vapor Rhino. It is a dry steam car wash. Now, just like with a vapor cleaner, you're going to have to wipe down the entire side of the vehicle. So with a pressure washer, you're going to do the entire side with just the water first, and then you're going to come back with the towels and rags and clean it. But you're about to see in just a second, we're going to do a close-up and listen to the original audio, that even with a pressure washer, not all the dirt can be taken off at once. See, the steam actually does a really good job of releasing the dirt and making it suspended in the solution or the water so you can take it off easy with a rag. Look how dirty that is, and I did the pressure washer. So even with a pressure washer, you're still leaving behind dirt. Just gotta rotate your rags often. So, see the dirt down here? Um, one of the misconceptions about our steamers, it leaves a lot of dirt behind. It does leave some, uh, but another misconception about pressure washers, it takes all the dirt off. It does not. So, it did a good job of taking the heavy dirt off, a really good job. Now we got to come back and wipe it all down. What we're going to see with this wipe down is that the driveway soaked. We have splatters everywhere in the car. The whole side of the car, roof of the car, and front quarter is all wet and water spotted, especially if it dries in the sun, and it will, because it's going to move so fast. And then if we go to do the other side of the truck, after we wipe this down, we're going to find out that the water from the other side of the truck is going to splatter the entire vehicle. It's going to come around, it's going to have more water spots, you're going to have to do double and triple wipe downs. It's just the way it is. Steam does avoid that. We get a lot of questions about the concept of a touchless car wash. You may have seen them driving down the highway. There's um, 
little car wash stations where you can drive your car through and you use pressure washers to knock the dirt off. And literally, they don't touch the car with any other mechanical force than the thrust of the water. Well, they're great and they're good for taking off the heavy water, uh, the heavy dirt, but a, a touchless car wash cannot clean a car like a detailer can. They cannot clean a car perfectly by any stretch of the imagination. I've tried it over and over again with different cars over the years. You take a white microfiber towel and you go through one of those car washes and you just try wiping your door panel down, your lower quarter panels especially, and you're gonna turn that towel over and it's gonna be dark. You're gonna have that road soot and whatnot on there. So there's just no way. Some dirt just wants to cling to the surface even if you're using a 1500 PSI pressure washer like you just saw a couple of minutes ago. We actually took our time and blasted pretty hard those quarter panels, but yet still, that rag we showed you a few minutes ago turned black. It just turned really, really dirty. There was plenty of dirt left on that. So it's not a touchless car wash, but it is a relatively dry car wash. Um, the steam does a fantastic job. You can make it so no water hits the ground. And even injection mode, you can put a runner down and catch 100% of the water. So 100% dry on the ground in dry vapor mode, or 100% dry on the ground with putting a runner down. Or if you're not worried about the water dripping in the first place, don't worry about the runner. But you can do the work. Instead of hundreds of gallons of water an hour, one, two, or three, or four maybe gallons of water an hour, depending on how hard you run the system. Vapor Rhino is just a beautiful, beautiful alternative to the traditional methods. And again, I can't emphasize this enough. When you're working with the Vapor Rhino in a neighborhood or anywhere else, you'll notice that cars will drive down the road and literally people will be turning their heads watching what you're doing. They find they're, they're all inspired by this big head of steam coming out and blasting the side of a car. And I tell you what, if your vehicle's there with the logos, it's going to attract new customers. So it's a great way to drive new business to your to your um, to your office or to your to your to your employees, and it's a great way to distinguish yourself from the average auto detailer out there. Well, there you have it. There's the time on the pressure washing, including the wipe down on the side, just like we did with the vapor steam cleaner before. And basically, you have a minute and 22 seconds difference on cleaning the side of the truck. The pressure washer was a little faster, no question about it, but it is done. That's all you can do with the pressure washer. The vapor steam cleaner will now engage the entire inside of the car. The other thing is, we'll take a look at this water that's running off here. We have a big wet mess. And keep in mind, that's half the truck. If you had done the hood, the roof, the cargo area, and the other side of the truck, you'd have a flood running down into the street and partially going down the block. So there you have it, this beautiful, beautiful presentation with the vapor steam cleaner, just a little ribbon of water that can be 100% collected, and that's an injection mode. And then the opposite, on the right-hand side in this photo, you see the runoff from cleaning one side of the truck with a, with a simple pressure washer, with a relatively low flow, by the way. Pressure washers tend to have a much higher flow than this. So we're looking at the difference of uh, 1 minute and 22 seconds in the footage we took, and you could um, you can fudge this back and forth and say, well, I could do it a little faster this way or that way. It really doesn't matter. The bottom line is the point we're trying to make here is that the Vapor Rhino 145 PSI vapor cleaning system in a dry car washer, even in injection mode, is very comparable to cleaning with a pressure washer. So the big debate that we people have, we have back and forth is, is, is the pressure washer faster than the steamer? And I'll answer the question right now. I say, yes, the pressure washer is a little faster, but it's no doubt that the, the effectiveness of a vapor steam cleaner is, is monumental because you can go from cleaning the outside of the car to cleaning the carpets, the upholstery, the vents, the entire inside of the car, and of course you can use it for everything else pretty much under the sun. Um, you can do that with the same machine and all day long you're only going to use a few gallons of water rather than using anywhere from 90 to a couple hundred gallons of water, carrying big tanks around. It just makes the process simple, super mobile, super portable. The only thing you need is either a place to plug it into customer's house if you're doing a 120 volt system or a, a generator if you're using a 230 volt system. That assumes that you're a mobile detailer. Otherwise, you can put an outlet in your, your bay or your garage and you can work right there. Rain or shine, you can work indoors. You never have to stop washing your vehicles. Just because it's raining out doesn't mean you can't do a, a full car wash inside. Just because it's ice cold out doesn't mean you can't do your full car wash outside or inside. You know, you have that full capabilities. Rain or shine, um, cold weather or hot weather, indoors or out, 
uh, with the exception of rain. You don't want to use the rhino in the rain, of course. That's the only exception. And um, unless, of course, you're in your garage. Um, and so, so the, the uses are almost endless. And of course, we're about to show you a montage. You can not only use this for auto detailing, but you can use this for pretty much the entire janitorial industry, from cleaning and sanitizing toilets and urinals, to sinks, to you know beer and bar taps, um, this is this it's almost endless for machining uh, machining tools uh, drill presses and all these things that we've talked about already you know your lawn equipment and so on uh, the vapor rhino has pretty much endless uses so we're very proud of the system i love this system i just wish that i had a vapor rhino back when i was doing my contracting days back when i was doing tile and grout work i mean i had a small steamer one you could put on your lap it was 65 psi in a single tank system with with only hot water injection and none of the chemical injection, none of the high PSIs, none of the stuff that's offered with our system. I would have done anything to have a system like this. I dreamed of it. So much so that we developed it. And here it is today. The Vapor Rhino 145 PSA, PSI auto detailing janitorial system. Um, so enjoy the montage. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please like and sub subscribe. Share this video with your friends. If you're on the phone right now, Please share this. Send a couple of friends. Share it. Share the love. Let everybody know that we exist and uh, that this system is here. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at the 800 number you see there um, where we have extended office hours. We have a great service center. The machine comes with a phenomenal warranty. And the way it's been designed, it's incredibly dependable and robust. It should give you years and years of service. And even if it doesn't, even if you have an issue, we have a warranty that is pretty much unsurpassed. It's a great warranty. So if you have a problem with it, give us a call. We take care of our customers. So thank you for shopping Vapor Rhino. Thank you for watching this video. We have a ton more if you want to see this thing used in upholstery cleaning. And I ask you to stay tuned in a couple more minutes. Watch the little montage about to come. It shows you a bunch of different uses for the Vapor Rhino 145 PSI Vapor Steam Cleaning System available in 120 volt standard or 230 volt. Both are available and both are popular. Thank you. Wow.